solves routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition and subtraction of whole numbers. Word problems are mathematical puzzles disguised in everyday scenarios. They challenge us to apply our mathematical knowledge and problem-solving skills to real-life situations. In solving word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers, without or with addition and subtraction of whole numbers including money, follow the same steps as in solving word problems involving other operations. It only differs on the operation to be used and its processes. In solving two-step word problems, find the hidden question then the given question. You need to use more than one operation. In this guide, we'll explore strategies for dissecting word problems, identifying key information, setting up equations, and ultimately finding solutions. To solve a word problem, we follow the four-step plan. Step 1. Understanding. Step 2. Plan. Step 3. Solve. Step 4. Check and look back. Step 1. Understanding. A. Read and understand the problem. Begin by reading the problem carefully to understand the context and what is being asked. Pay attention to keywords and phrases that indicate mathematical operations or relationships. B. Know what is asked for in the problem. Determine the specific question. What is it asking you to find or solve for? C. Find the necessary information. This could include numerical values, measurements, quantities, or any other relevant data. Step 2. Plan. A. Decide how are you going to solve the problem. Determine the operations to be used. B. Write the number sentence. Express the information given in the problem as mathematical equations. Step 3. Solve. This is where you solve the equation or the number sentence you came up with in Step 2. Use appropriate mathematical techniques to solve the equations and find the solution to the problem. Step 4. Check and look back. Double check your work. See if you have performed the operations correctly and you got a reasonable answer. Let's try some examples. Example 1. Mother bought 5 kilograms of mangoes. With 4 mangoes in each kilo, how many mangoes are there in all? A. What is asked in the problem? Total number of mangoes. B. What are the given facts? 5 kilos, 4 mangoes in a kilo. C. What is the operation to be used? Multiplication. D. What is the correct equation? 5 by 4 equals n. E. Solution. 5 times 4 equals 20 mangoes. Example 2. 
Christine Jed bought five lip tint for 75 pesos each. If she had 495 pesos, how much change would she get? A. What is asked in the problem? Change she would get. Can you find the hidden question in this word problem? Total cost of five lip tint. B. What are the given facts? 5 lip tint, 75 pesos each. C. What is the operation to be used? Multiplication, subtraction. D. What is the correct equation? 75 by 5 equals N. For the total cost of 5 lip tint, 495 pesos N. For the change she will get. E. e. Solution. 75 times 5 equals 375. Total cost of 5 lip tint. 495 minus 375 equals 120. The change she will get. Let's practice. 1. An accessory shop has an average daily sales of 978 pesos. How much sales can the accessory shop can get in 25 days? Two, in a food chain, Jade treated his 15 friends with value meals. If each meal costs 85 pesos, how much did Jade pay in all? Three, Ariz and Joshua have 40 marbles each. Their playmate Jade has three times the number of Ariz's marbles. How many marbles does Jade have? 4. A vendor buys 36 boxes of candies. Each box has 100 candies. How many candies are there in all? 5. Lance could read 75 pages of his favorite pocketbook in a day. If he would read for 12 days, how many pages of the book would he finish?